Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School. I assure you complete practical training approach for this very very useful training program Azure Administrator AZ104. Previously it used to be AZ103 and with good amount of updates and revisions from Microsoft for this certification that AZ103 is now reframed into AZ104, the latest version. Coming to our course curriculum, we need to keep in mind, number one, certification, undoubtedly, AZ104, getting ourselves certified for Azure administration. Number two, how to implement these concepts at our job desk, right? So keeping those things in mind, we would be having the Azure basics, the Azure basics and the Azure fundamentals can also take you to one additional certification optionally, it's optional and we'll be focusing more on the Azure administration part. So Azure fundamentals first and towards administration next. So you may go only for plan A. Azure Administration Plan A, four weeks course, and you have AZ900, AZ900 certification guidance from our SQL school, as well as AZ104, complete guidance. In case, in case you would like to uh, get into more of data analytics kind of job role, you may also extend your learning. You may also extend your learning with 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this way. Next. Choice is yours. You may opt for plan A first. Once everything is tried, once everything is done, then you may opt for this plan B. You can upgrade yourself to plan B. And what we are actually going to learn in the Azure administration course. Yes, it will be complete into practice mode and the AZ104 course includes fundamentals, the AZ900 concepts, right from the cloud concepts to Azure concepts, to understanding security, different data governance operations, pricing mechanisms, SLA, service level agreements, life cycle concepts, alerts, notifications and other activities. Then proceed for our actual more detailed and technical Azure administration. Let me just write it here. It's 104 and Azure administration. And here in this AZ104 Azure administration course, Microsoft says we need to be responsible for we need to be responsible for implementation, managing, and monitoring organizations, Azure environment. It's all into management activities. Next. Apart from this. It also includes monitoring and other activities. So we have Azure identities. It's a continuation of fundamentals, the Azure fundamentals concepts, identities and governance activities, storage activities, and compute activities, virtual machines, and virtual networks, and finally backups and monitoring activities. Total of five different chapters as per the AZ104 training program or AZ104 certification curriculum. Next. With this information, either you opt for the live online or in-house or self-paced videos or corporate training, any type of training mode 
the same rule applies the same content the same curriculum and same examples i mean you can choose any one or switch in between for example you join some live training and we are not able to manage you may switch to video for the remaining classes or vice versa you join video self paced for some reason it's not really working for you then you may join the live training for the remaining classes it's up to you we provide friendly support and yes the sessions would be complete into practice mode keeping in mind your certification as well as job work so ensure complete updated material samples for the certification that part will take care and we request you to make sure we practice on time throughout the course we need to practice on time throughout the course then we are good to score in a nice way in our examination thank you very much all the very best and meet you in a live demo class or on call you can always contact me on a call or contact any of our team members over there 24/7 and we are glad to assist you further with all the details thank you very much have a nice time thank you once again